Are you looking to purchase your first saltwater clam for your aquarium, but you're not quite sure which one is going to be the best? This video is going to show you which is the best type of clam to pick to start your clam journey. Hi, I'm Richard from the Beginners Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with awesome information, tips and resources. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and any links I mention in this video you can find in the description below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I've got an awesome beginner tip that I think you're going to really find useful. There are five main types of clam that we have in our hobby. Uh, we have the easiest clams which are the squamosas and the Duraza clams. Then we have the gigas and now onto the maximas and the crosayas. On this list we're going to start with the uh, most difficult to keep and work our way down to the easiest. The hardest to keep out of all of the clams mentioned above are the crosaya clams. These clams require the most light and the most stable water parameters. They are an absolutely incredible clam. They've got beautiful colorations, fantastic patterns. The colors are so vivid and they are incredible when you see them in a well-lit aquarium. But because of that, they are gonna require some serious dollars to be spent on them. You can be looking at $100 to $200 easy for a, a two inch crochet clam. So they're not a good clam to start with as a beginner because you don't wanna be going and sinking $200 on a clam for your tank to not be mature enough and you haven't got your water parameters stable enough to keep these happy and healthy. The reason why they have the most vivid colorations is because in the wild they are in the tidal areas and in the lagoons so they don't have much water depth above them so they are open to some serious exposure from the sun and usually the most colorful corals are the ones that have the most sun exposure so for them to survive in your aquarium they've got to have really really powerful light par and good quality led arrays metal halides and high power T5s are going to be the only lights that you're going to be able to keep a crosaya clam happy. The other thing with the crosaya clams is because they're usually in the lagoon areas they tend to be sitting on rock so when you have them in your aquarium they've got to sit up on your rock work up on your aquascape as high as you can get them in the top of the tank so that they can get the most light they don't do well if you put them down on the sand. They are naturally sitting on rock in the wild and that's where they need to be. So just stay away from the crosayas. They're not a good beginner clam. Number four on the list are the Maxima clams. Um, these are, again, another beautiful clam. Generally come in more of like blues and greens. Not as good colorations or patterning as the crosayas, but they are still an expensive clam. They also still require very stable water parameters and because of that again you don't want to be going throwing 100-150 bucks at your first beginner clam only to find out that your tank isn't good enough for them. So another clam that's going to need a high output LED, metal halide, T5s, it's another clam that sits on rock so it's got to sit high up in your tank on your aquascape and as these guys grow they can take up quite a bit of space so yeah real estate is uh, limited in the quarry and if you've got a clam sitting high up on your rock that's growing to you know six seven eight inches across it's gonna start taking up a lot of real estate so just not a clam I recommend for the beginner the middle one on the list number three is the Tridacna gigas these clams are better suited to beginner but the problem with these is they grow to absolute monsters. In the wild, these clams can grow up to five feet and it's just huge. In an aquarium, they can easily get up to, you know, 12, 18 inches and that's pretty much half your tank gone right there. So even though they are available, they're not as popular because they grow so big, but they don't require as much light or as stable water parameters. Um, so if you do find them, if you've got a really big tank, then great. 
but generally as a beginner you're not going to have a huge tank and the Gigas are not really suited for an aquarium. They're more of a public aquarium kind of clam where they can uh, grow really large in the really large public aquariums. Number two on the list. One of two types of clams that I really recommend for beginners. And this one is the Tridacna theresa. These are really, really good beginner clams. They don't require high light outputs like the Crosairs or the Maximas. And the other good thing with these guys is that they live on the sand bed naturally. So you can put them on your sand bed and it gives you a lot more options of where to place these. So the, uh, the thing with the, the Derezas is because they are lower light corals, you can put them in the shadows a little bit. A really nice coral, they've generally got a lot more browns, greens, oranges, patterns that are like blotchy patterns rather than stripes and get them the right light and they can look really, really cool. They can reflect the light off their, their mantle and it looks really, really beautiful. I have one in my aquarium and it is awesome. The thing you have to be careful with the Duracers is that they do grow quick and they do grow quite big. You can get a Duracer go up to 8, 10, 12 inches in a couple of years in an aquarium with no problem at all. Uh, when they start getting that big, you've got to watch your calcium and alkalinity levels because with a shell that large, they will suck out those elements pretty quickly. So this is the main reason why it's number two on my list is because it grow quite large and for a beginner we've generally got a smaller tank and you have to make sure that you want one of these clams so that you can leave the room for it. And finally on my list the best one that I recommend for beginners are the squamosas. These are by far one of the hardiest clams that you can have as a beginner. They come in beautiful colorations of blues and greens and browns and oranges really nice patterns and they stay relatively small and you can cup a squamosa depending on where you are in the world usually for around about 50 bucks for about a two inch one and they're really hardy they will accept lower quality water parameters a little bit less stable in your water parameters and you can keep them under lower quality leds and lower power T5 arrays so they make a really good bang for your first one. The Scramosa was my first clam that I started with years ago and went so well I then went out and bought the Derezer. They don't grow too large, up to 8 inches maximum in an aquarium. Same price tag as the Derezers generally, they're around about the 50 to 100 bucks. They live on the sand bed as well so it gives you more options of where to place them. The Scramosas are the best clam that I recommend for a beginner for your first one. Clams are a beautiful addition to any aquarium and if your tank is not a focal point already these will certainly change that. I still remember getting my first clam my local fish store was having a clam sale they got a load in from their uh, online supplier and it was just awesome I just didn't know which ones to pick uh, that's why I wanted to create this video to help you because I was there in the store frantically looking on my phone trying to figure out which were the best clams for beginners, which ones did I need to stay away from, did I have the right lights, was my tank ready for a clam and luckily my tank was ready, it was about 18 months old by this point, it was nice and mature, my water parameters had been good for a long time and I picked up my first clam and it did awesome. After that, I got another one and I've never looked back. Beautiful, beautiful things to go in your aquarium. So I hope you found this list helpful. As promised, your beginner tip, whenever you get a clam, always make sure you burp the clam. And what this means is when you take the clam out of the delivery bag and it gets air inside it, when you put that clam back under the water, make sure that you basically put the clam under water and turn it upside down several times to basically burp the air out of it. Any air that gets stuck within the mantle of the uh, clam can kill it over time. So basically just put it under water in your tank and just give it a good, move it around, try and get all the air bubbles out of it before placing it on your sand bed. If you like the information in this video, be sure to check out the link below. I've got a cool article that gives you even more information about 
getting your first beginner clams. Um, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and be sure to check out our other videos and I'll see you on the next one.